we're reimagining the 17 acres just south of the Arvada Center. It's been a big challenge because it's a field. That's why we're calling it Sculpture in a Field. We had to get concrete pads for many of the pieces or a flat footprint for a lot of the sculptures, not only to securely anchor them, but to just have them set and look level or perpendicular. You have native grasses to weeds to uneven ground. So you've mowed a path in so people are able to walk around. We're really excited about all of the artists. Almost all are well known in Colorado. Some are known outside of Colorado. Get the sledge. Let's okay, the sledge. so we got a nut on it. The one that is the older piece that's been around, it's been like in Key West and in Seattle and in Denver. It is three pretty much straight up and down columns, all drawn in, all cast in, all with markings and some polish. I'm doing a new piece that is what I call an unconcealed column. A lot of the areas get polished, which makes them reflective. They're all cast in aluminum, so they're not very heavy, really. Like the one piece with the three columns, like 600 pounds. The other piece, 400 pounds. So they're actually manhandled fairly easily, except for that it's tall when you push it up. Right. Okay, boys, how are we doing? Need any help there? They look almost like they're blowing in the wind or something like that. They change. They don't look the same every time you look at them. Not every time you're from a different angle and every different light makes the pieces look a little bit different, right? So they have a life of their own. The pieces that I'm doing for the Unbound exhibition are two large kind of monumental pieces. One from a previous series that I started about three years ago. That series is called the Build Series. And that was a breakthrough series for me in which I was starting to inflate metal. It's a really interesting process where I fold up the metal, I weld it, and then I put it in this massive kiln and heat it up to a really high temperature before I inflate it. Okay, right there, let's go up. It's a very tall piece made up of four or five elements that are inflated and they sort of nest together in this really interesting sensual way. And then this piece rubric on three, one, two, three. It's four stacked elements exactly the same. It's about 12 feet tall. It's fairly minimal, but yet it has a lot of interesting soft organic forms as well. Keep coming. I like to use steel, a lot of stainless steel and also mild steel. Also, I, I use a lot of the native stones found in the area. But even at 12 feet tall, a lot of these sculptures in that massive field look really small. So that's sort of interesting. We'll have Robert Mangold as the Dean of Colorado Modern Sculpture. The giant red lightning bolt that he's become known for. Vanessa Clark, a younger artist. It's this beautiful marble stone piece that she created. That's by Eric Johnson beacon. There's actually a little solar light that's in it, and at night it, it's, it's a beacon. We'll also have Dave Mazza, who's uh, going to have a 24-foot tall sculpture. Well, what the sculpture garden does for you is two things, I think. One of them is the addition of something culturally high art. And then the other thing is the actual hands-on reality. I mean, kids are going to love this show. Instead of having a drawing on the wall that you can't really put your dirty fingers on, this is like a print that you get to touch. It's important for people to go outside of the architectural space into the natural world and find a place of contemplation and serenity that they might not always find inside a gallery. We're hoping that this will trigger some ideas, some support, some momentum to better develop it, better landscape it. We think this really can be a, a unique space in the region for sculpture. Unbound Sculpture in the Field is free and open to the public. It runs through September 2015 at the Arvada Center.